So here's where I'm at. Got to change the bushings in the leaf springs that go on the square body frame. This guy right here. So as you can see, we've got them still stuck in the front springs and over there, there we go. Still got some that are stuck in the rear springs as well. We need to create a path of least resistance. So we've got to cut this rubber off where it flares out the side. You know what, the more that I do this, I'm gonna throw my mask on because it's not good. My oh my, look at that. <laughs> that was way easier than I anticipated. All I did was just cut that rubber off the end and it slid out. So uh, things didn't season there as bad as I thought. I don't know if the other side's gonna be like that or not, but if you get lucky, well, you get lucky. Huh. Let's see this guy. I don't think this one will come out as easy. No. Now with these guys, I didn't realize it, but they're only about this size, so they, go only halfway. So if they don't come out, it's really not that hard to get them out. I think that it's just a matter of messing around with the screwdriver, which I did on the other one, which is how you saw that one that I just got out. So I will try the press with this and I'm gonna try some other methods for the rear ones. The reason why I'm gonna try the other methods for the rear ones is because I just can't hold that heavy spring up so uh, long. It's way, way heavier than what I'm doing for the front. But it, so it'll give us an opportunity to, to try out different methods. Now, if you're in a position where you have a press and it's easier to balance things, I tried some stuff with some wood and whatnot and it, it just didn't go, then you're in a far better shape than I am. But in this case, what I've done is I've just taken this um, big socket. The end got drilled out uh, ages ago because I had to make a tool for a time we were working on a motorcycle so I could just get a wrench on the end here and it would slide over an axle shaft. So this actually works out really well because the spring is just gonna sit right here. Then all I did was I just got a bolt that was a little bit wider than that sleeve and we'll give it a whirl Ugh. like i said it's not light but it's a bit precarious so what i'm going to do is the end that i cut i'm going to set in to my socket there we go that was super simple it probably won't come out that easy this time rust is Glued them in. One. Oh, there. I was going to say it's not going to come out easy, but maybe it will. Yeah. No. And done. Now, those are the simple ones. Like I said, they're a lot lighter. I don't have as much of an issue holding them up and stuff like that. The back ones are, well, there's two leaves here and there's six leaves plus the bottom plate on the other one. So there's no way I'm gonna be able to do it on the press where it's at. I could put the press on the floor, but I also wanna try another method to see because like I said earlier, not a lot of people have these presses at their disposal and they've gotta come up with uh, other options. So let's go and uh, have a look at that as soon as I get the rear spring prepped. So another suggestion had been to use a gear puller. I happened to find one in our uh, toolbox, so I figured I would give it a whirl. I think that my gear puller is maybe too small. It does fit, and it is pushing out at uh, the, the bolt and the sleeve out at the bottom, but I think that it's resting in a weird spot, and it won't let it go anymore. I think it's 
I need to cut one with more of a straight arm. That might be the case. So we might be kind of stuck there. Yeah, I think that might be the problem because it's moving it, but it's just not moving it enough. One other suggestion was to drill out the rubber. There you go. Drilling it out made a huge difference. So what I'm gonna do is stick a screwdriver in here, loosen up this rubber. I might be able to actually just pop it out, I'm not sure, but I still have that metal sleeve in there that I'm gonna have to chisel out. I think I'll get the air chisel going on that one. It vibrated itself apart. Done. That actually was the harder side. All done. So I know I started off this by saying that I think I would try a few different uh, methods of getting those bushings out. And uh, you know what? I, unfortunately, I didn't. The one other option that somebody had mentioned was to get a hole saw, like something like this. That was the diameter of the rubber in there and then just to saw through, which makes a lot of sense. Another way to do it, but it is the wrong way environmentally to do things is to burn them out. I've seen that happen before. I haven't participated myself, but I do know that that works. It's very stinky and it's, it's pretty gross and it does make a bit of a mess. So I would say for the front, absolutely the press was the way to go. If you have one, go for it. I think uh, I was talking to Tim how he had done his bushings before for the front of his car and he said he had had the press on the ground, which makes a lot of sense because then that way you've got a little bit better leverage. With that spring, you can just put it on a couple blocks instead of resting it on your shoulder like I did. As far as the front goes, I would say drill out that rubber. And then if you do have a gear puller, go that route. Another way that I saw that I don't have is actually to use a ball joint press. That probably would have been super, super easy, or well, I wouldn't say super easy, it's probably a challenge, but it would be easier than what we did if it worked the way that uh, it's supposed to. And another way to do it too is just get a couple parts and put it in the vise. 
I had to use the air chisel to, to get that sleeve out, which that I don't know how I would have done otherwise. It would have been a lot of pounding with a regular chisel. But yeah, that's basically it. If, I hope this helps. If not, you've been able to witness me bust my butt getting these eight bushings out and uh, now I'm I'm done and base and what's going on next get these guys cleaned up so we can get them on over here that's what's most important so thanks for watching folks I hope you enjoyed it I hope it was informative in some way make sure to keep on watching make sure to click on that like button make sure to click on that subscribe button and I will see you soon and so will Tim Thank <laughs> you.